Greetings, peasants, desire your lord and master, Mr. Chivacation, bringing you another edition of Mods of Skyrim, episode number like 87 or something, I don't even know, I don't even keep count anymore, I don't really care. And here we are at the College of Winterhild, yes, we are doing a magey sort of thing today, open I say, thank you. Now, this mod is all about this chap here in his underwear, now I'm not quite sure why he stood here in his underwear, and in fact, because he's a mage, I'm not even quite sure why he's so built like a freaking brick, although it looks like he has been using the fake tan a little bit. Try doing your neck next time as well. Anyway, here we are doing gothic mage robes inspired from the game gothic made by a chap called Jacko O or Jacku. I don't quite know how you pronounce your name. I presume it's something like Jacko O. Anyway, that's not a zero on your name. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, you need to go to this chap and you can purchase said items from him. Now, his name is Fire Mage. Oh, Pyro Car. Pyro car, a little bit like a pyro, I suppose. And he sells you a few bits and bobs. Now, he sells you fire mages robes with hooded versions and the water mages robes as well. Now, we're going to buy both because I'm hip and I'm with it. And they cost 1,023 pieces of gold. And of course, you want to also buy the Book of Ashes, which is a, uh, another weapon, another weapon, sorry, a spell in which he's thrown in there as well, which is basically a disintegration spell. However, for some reason, it's in, I don't really know, possibly German. Absorbite 84 Puncta Magica und Verbrennt. Das Seal Orbit Absorb 8 points of Magica from the target. See, some of it is in... I suppose that's probably the most English way of speaking German you've ever heard in your entire life. So we're going to purchase that as well. Now, first things first, let's get the old spell on. What was it called again? Oh god, I can't remember what it was called. Um, I've got way too many books in this stupid space. Um, hmm. Book of Ashes, there we go. Lou learned the spell Disintegrate, and we're going to go and have a check out at the two different types of robes. And we're going to go, of course, use Disintegrate White Rub, because that's what we do. So we're going to go into awesome Shush Colette, I don't care. We're going to go into awesome Che mode by this fancy thingy majiggy right here. No, I'm not wearing shoes for some reason. So here we are. Here is the mage's fire magey type robe. Now, I don't know what the blue one looks like, but I imagine it's pretty much the same, just in blue, but I will show that anyway. So here we go. Here it is. This is your new robe. Lots of, like, studding dust down the middle, a nice big chock-off belt, and of course a fire symbol right in the middle there. Well, the usual fire symbol right in the middle there. As you go up, you get more of the funky studdiness. to some huge-ass shoulder pads, because, uh, for some reason, mages enjoy shoulder pads. I don't quite know why, but we do. And, of course, a big red hood to go with it. And some funky... I'm pretty sure that's an amulet of RK, even though I'm not actually wearing an amulet of RK. It's an amulet of something on the back. Now, the back is pretty much the same, so we're going to not really bother going around there. And we're going to have a look at the, uh, the blue version of the robes. Okay, no, they are nothing alike. In fact, I think I prefer the blue version of the robes. It looks a bit more magey, in my opinion. I think I actually prefer the blue version of the robes. Oh, well, anyway, so here's the blue version of the robes, as I keep saying. And we have a nice big belt with greenery, greenery all over it, a nice lots of blueness. I'd like to see some other colours of uh, robes, actually. I'd like to see quite a dark colour, maybe a necromancer version or something like that. Would look pretty damn good. And here we go. That is it. There is your magey robes for today. And we're going to go and show you the, uh, the spell, the disintegrate spell. And we're going to run around Whiterun and do that, because that's what we do. We terrorise Whiterun, and that's fun. And I enjoy terrorising, terrorising, terrorising Whiterun, because that's what I do. Anyway, off we go. So rather aptly it's raining, because hell is about to come down upon Whiterun once again. And here we have disintegrate. What does it do? Oh, it's like a big freaky beam that makes things go weird and dark and nastiness. Zzz. Ooh, cool. I quite like this. Oh, it continues through people. So this this beam goes on, for as far as I'm aware, forever. It's just like a, an ongoing beam of epicosity. And we can pick off people from a distance if we so... Oh, hang on. Is that hurting him? I can't quite tell. It is, I think. Now, it does go very dark when you use this. I'm not quite sure if that's a, a reason or not, but who really cares? It's fun to terrorise Whiterun and all of its useless inhabitants who nobody likes. Once again, we need to go murder the annoying creature. Shut up. The oh, it's Bellathor! Excellent! I always like killing that man. Where is he? There he is. Hello, annoying hype skier. Be gone with you, Whiterun. Oh god, they're trying to kill me. Oh, I know. Oh, check out that backflip. Yeah, check out that backflip. Anyway, guys, I've been here for a while. That was the video for today. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And the word of the day is backflip. Excellent. Anyway, guys, I've been here for a while. I hope you enjoyed the video. Toodle freaking ew.